All right, welcome back. Just going down the tube here. I'm going up the tube. <laughs> going up the tube. I was I was just thinking about <laughs> it. Like, I mean, we don't we don't really know what's going on yet. Clearly, you're in some kind of spaceship now. Yeah, I think the idea is that your pod basically got sucked up, and you're the only like being that's like able to survive. I mean, clearly, yeah, you're being abducted. But yeah, that's what I was just thinking about here. Is that like, if if they abducted your pod, and your pod has to go through this to get to like the alien ship thing, this is basically a meat grinder. Pretty much. Like they're throwing things at them and like freaking throwing them through like these these shredding blocks and stuff like that and electrocuting them. It's like <laughs> nothing is clearly meant to survive coming up this way. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like I have better luck just like freaking like pointing downwards mm -hmm. and just like using like. Well, other than that. Yeah, that thing's still crushed you, I think. But I did get pretty far when I was just doing it like that. Yeah. Well, you know, you figure out what works, and then you uh, perfect it. Yeah. And, like, again, like, the same thing with this next level coming up. I know it's, like, just repeat, repeat, repeat until you get it. Fi you finally get it right. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it just, that's how it goes with these games. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> Especially a game like Echo. Yep. Oh, that was close. Uh... But yeah, man, I, like, I know it just seems weird. If I was going to go around abducting dolphins, I guess I'm not a weird, mysterious, unknown, freaking alien being of some kind that just, like, <laughs> goes around abducting dolphins, but, yeah, these, uh, uh, I mean, who knows Who knows what their methods are, or their means, or yeah. their motives. Yeah, like, at this point, like, you know, you can just see, like, the little design in the back there. I mean, like, you haven't actually really seen the aliens yet, but, yeah, spoiler for anyone... Just tuning in for the first time. Yeah. yeah why'd you start an episode twenty? <laughs> <laughs> it's a game. It's a game that involves creatures of the sea, but you know, also involves aliens. And it's kind of an interesting dynamic in that the the dolphins are the ones saving the universe, and not. Um, <laughs> but are you saving the universe, or are you just trying to save your pod? I think it's mostly just trying to save your pod, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you can save the world while you're at it. You know? Yeah. Sure. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. I, mean, I remember, um... Oh, what was it? Was it, uh... Sort of the episodes of The Tick. <laughs> um, I think... I think you have to watch it online, though. Like, on YouTube or something. Because it's not on the DVDs. Yeah. Um, because there was, like, a... This character that was, like, clearly spoofing off of a uh, Marvel character. Mm. But I think it was too close. So they weren't able to, like, put it on the DVDs. Because, you know, they got sued about it. Yeah. For, for being too similar. Um. Ah. Uh, right. <laughs> uh. But yeah, they have this this like I think in Marvel the character is called Galactus and he's like this huge dude who goes around eating planets or something. Yeah, and I know, I know the um, yeah the Marvel universe or whatever. I actually showed him in the newest movie, didn't they? The final Fantastic Four. Oh, is Galactus in that? I think he was in one of them. That wouldn't the surprise me. Newer one, I think. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't watch a lot of movie trailers, and I've I've missed most of the Fantastic Four four movies since the first one was was pretty meh. Yeah. Um. It's a popcorn flick. <laughs> so, anyways, what I was gonna say though about this uh, Galactus character in this this episode of The Tick uh, is I remember it. Oh wow, you survived somehow. Yeah. Um, I remember it being funny because the tick ended up kind of drifting through space and he bumps into this Galactus character. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's like, hey, can you give me a ride back home? And the big Galactus character's like, sure, why not? And so he flies the tick back through space to, to Earth. And then he's going to start eating Earth. Yeah. And the tick says, uh, something along the lines of, like, you can't eat Earth. It's where I keep all my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> It has nothing to do with it being right or wrong. It's just like that's where he has his things. Mm. It would be inconvenient. <laughs> yeah. I just thought that was kind of a funny argument. And that, for some reason, I think I actually like. I think I was actually able to swim through one of those. I don't yeah, know I, I saw you. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. If you have enough speed, uh, sometimes in games like this, you can glitch through things because the game's like calculating your position. And it's like, oh, your position is you know on the left side of it, and now it's on the right side of it. You must have made it around somehow. Yeah. Uh, and it's not the case, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine some of these later ones, too, like, once the level starts speeding up, that'd probably help you sort of glitch through them. Definitely. <laughs> like, but certainly, like, for sure, like, once I get to the little lightning things, like, just sticking to one side really helped. Mm -hmm. And I noticed, like, for the most part, like, they weren't really even able to kill me. 
and actually like it's just it feels like my life like regenerates when you know it's that quick like yeah you know it really helps <laughs> yep and I just gotta watch out for the uh, platform things that are gonna start coming up again yeah and these other freaking falling boulder things <laughs> Whatever they are, <laughs> but yeah, man, I was gonna say though that if I was if I was a weird alien or something like that that was abducting dolphins in ocean water, uh, I'm not sure if I'd throw them through like a, a meat grinder. <laughs> I think the idea is that you're uh, not supposed to survive this thing. Well, sure, but like <laughs> that means that either like they're not interested in the dolphins, maybe maybe they only that they're here for like dolphin meat or something like that. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe for some reason that's what interests them. But, you know, I would I would maybe say that if they're just trying to, like, kill them all in, like, this, this crazy method, mm. uh, maybe they're not after the dolphin meat. For some reason, they just want the salt water. <laughs> it's their uh, valuable resource to stay living that they've uh, mm -hmm. depleted from whatever planet they come from. Yep. Salt water. I, it kind of reminds me of the... the movie signs where the aliens hated water. Oh, yeah. And it's like you're coming to a planet Earth that's made up of, like, <laughs> it's like 70% like water. 70% water. Yeah. And you're, like, you know, that's, that's your plan. Yeah. You know, didn't occur to you to maybe, like, check the biology or the chemical balance of the was, planet. Was that the one where at some point they said that the Japanese had found some, like, ancient method of fighting them? Yeah. And it was like... I don't think they ever said what it was, but, like, I couldn't help but think or, they had, like, samurais or something fighting them. Yeah, I know, like, one of the, yeah, the alien movies, like, there's always, like, some secret way to beat them, and, mm -hmm. like, I mean, apparently the secret way to beat these aliens is a dolphin, mm -hmm. but not a dolphin that gets killed over and over. Yeah. Well, <laughs> look, I mean, I think the scariest dolphin would be the immortal dolphin, right? Yeah. You're like, didn't we kill that thing like 30 times? <laughs> How did it make it up the tube? I thought he got killed by that asteroid place so many <laughs> times. And, you know. Records show that this dolphin died 55 million years ago. Yeah. I actually think that, you know, echoing is part of what makes me regenerate life so fast. You know? You think? I think so. Like, I don't know. Well, it does seem to be coming back pretty quickly, but I'm not sure if it's from echoing, because... I mean, you haven't stopped echoing, so it's hard to tell. Yeah. It'd be kind of funny if that's what it was doing it, though. Just press A to survive. Pretty much. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. I got pretty far that time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those things are crushing you. And there's not really any way to get around them other than charging, but it yeah. takes way too much time. That's also the other problem with these sorts of moving stages, is like, as opposed to something like, uh, like even something obnoxious like your, your trilobite circle or hard water, or, you know, one of the other levels you had trouble with, Pteranodon Pond, um, like, you could get back to the places where you left off pretty quickly, mm. because you knew the path, uh, and in this one it's like you can't get back quickly because you have to move at the speed the stage lets you move. Right. So. I feel like it'd be funny if the uh, aliens also used echolocation. And this is like, there's a whole bunch of noises coming up from the tube. <laughs> yeah. I think there's going to be a platform here soon. I need to avoid. Well, so far not dead. <laughs> so far. Gotta watch out for more of those friggin' falling things. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. They really don't give you a lot of time to avoid them here. Oh, wow. I was gonna say, maybe try staying towards the middle. They yeah. mostly show up on the left and right. And the middle gives you the, uh... <laughs> ah, stupid lightning, though! <laughs> yeah, actually, I actually was kinda getting... I noticed it was like really speeding up there, and yeah, I think I was pretty close to the ending. Probably. Like, yeah, I mean, the nice thing is like, yeah, that you regenerate life. That's mm -hmm. important right there, and yep. two, just you know, the fact that it's like once you get the, once you stick to one side, that's the thing is you want to stick to one side at least when you're going through the lightning. And then once you get to a certain point, you want to just stick to the middle. I think is the idea. 
Yeah. Or, or maybe even a certain point, I should just stick to the side, because that way the light only all, you know one lightning can hit me at a time. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. See, like, yeah, just like going through that. That's true. But then you're in a lot of trouble if one of those blocks shows up in front of you suddenly. Yeah. Because you do not have enough time to like charge it or get out of the way. Yeah, I think sticking to the bottom of the screen. Like that, like, look at that. I barely took any damage there. <laughs> I was gonna say, there there may be some potential value in actually moving higher up on the screen. Just because that's another way to get more time to move out of the way of something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So those things mostly seem to, like, damage you pretty badly, but they only seem to kill you. Uh, when, like, they crush you. Oh, God. Oh, God, okay, you have your health. <laughs> it's gonna be more of those blocks coming up. I'm sure. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's going pretty fast. Yep. Question is, will my reaction time be quick enough? Probably not. This reminds me, uh... <laughs> I mean, I, like... Uh, do you remember the, uh, the movie Interstellar came out, like, a year or two ago? Yeah. Um... Oh, oh hey. nice! Yeah, you made it through the tube. I made it through the tube, and this is uh. Wow, dude, this... does does the room seem to be moving to you? And I'm looking at the TV, and for some reason, it feels like it's shifting upwards. Like I think I got so used to looking at the tube moving so quickly that now yeah. it's like. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's kind of like the those those videos. Now it's not moving. Those kind of videos you see like on YouTube sometimes, like it tries to like kind of like simulate like like a. a what is it like a like a drug tripping experience? Like uh -huh. you know, like they'll they'll have like the the freaking object moving around on the screen, like based on a center point. It's like swirling and it, it's weird because like they they tried to make it so that like you look around your room and stuff looks funny and yeah. No, oh, I, I definitely I, I noticed a little bit of something after that too, just because you're so used to it. Yeah, yeah, no, like it's oh Jesus, like it just feels really weird now that we're looking at a static screen. Like it feels like it's still like moving to me. <laughs> Well, okay, the only reason I wanted to bring up Interstellar, though... Oh, wow, this place is really weird now. This is the infamous level that oh, most God. people remember. And, uh, get a yeah, first this, peek is, at this your, is probably the one I cheated, too. The one where you get to see your first look at aliens. And basically, getting shot out by these little boogers. Wow. But, Those uh, are little boogers. <laughs> but, um, uh, at least the aliens, all it takes to kill them is Echo. So. Yeah, that's, that's pretty convenient that... Your way of communication is their biggest weakness. And the funny thing is, like, this level, like, the title, Welcome to the Machine, if anybody knows where that's from, it's a Pink Floyd reference. Because they're, uh, you know, the Pink Floyd, you know, the album or whatever that they released. And huh. it's funny because there's actually a new, there's actually, um, <clears throat> without getting too spoilery, uh, they might reference it in the second Echo game. <laughs> uh, another album by uh, Pink Floyd. Uh-oh. Because Welcome to the Machine is from Pink Floyd. <laughs> I haven't actually listened to much Pink Floyd. I've heard a couple of their songs, but yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, I'm not sure which one, like, which song in particular this one's referencing, but or not like as far as like what it sounds like because it's been a while since I heard that album. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, like again, like this level is like the same. Like, it really just takes you through a pattern, and like if you've never done this level before, like I've done this level like quite a few times, like just in my yeah, you're doing pretty past. good here so far. <laughs> but this this isn't nearly as bad as the tube, and for freaking example it's not nearly as bad as the I also find it interesting that these aliens have wow made a habit of shedding their heads yeah <laughs> like they're like ah dude needs a body <laughs> yeah. yeah the heads just fall your head so I actually got a lot farther that time than I thought it would yeah that was pretty good because I actually it bits and pieces it's like it all comes back to you like you remember mm -hmm. like because I think when I was a kid I did this like so many times like it's like you know once once you have like the basic rhythm down it's pretty easy to get through the whole level it's sure. just again like these aliens as long as you attack them ahead of time you don't have to really worry too much about them mm -hmm. like, you just have to assume they're going to pop up every, around every corner and that this is pretty <laughs> this is all pretty basic but yep. again like it's just like the last level just like repeating and repeating until you finally get there yeah all right so really quick though uh i just wanted to finish my statement of why i brought up interstellar because uh the movie i thought was like okay yeah uh, i wasn't too happy with the ending but most of it was kind of interesting at least um there's a lot of aliens chasing you now. Yeah. Uh, but one of the songs, like it was, it was the music of the movie that I think really uh, stuck with me. 
Uh, cause there was the one scene where they had to like, they had like a docking sequence mid-space. And it was pretty exciting. Yeah. Uh, and the music really helped sell the moment. So I looked up the song later after I got home. And the song was called No Time for Caution. Yeah. And <laughs> I just remember that every time you're doing something like the tube there where it's like, <laughs> you do not have time to be careful. <laughs> Yeah, you you're just really. rocketing through it like, oh god! Yeah, I was actually pretty uh, surprised there wasn't no, you know, more blocks. Like, uh... oh wow, yeah, poop. Those guys really hurt though. Yeah, they're pretty wimpy, but they hurt. I don't even know how they kill you. Like, I guess they like grab you with their arms and like, like crush yeah, you. Except or... they're, they don't have arms anymore. They've <laughs> they've shedded their arms. <laughs> when they when they're just heads, I guess they're just like, I don't know, they're just like. Maybe they just have like a venomous bite type thing or something. Like little alien bite. Venom crap thing, yep. you know. Either way, they're pretty non-threatening if you can actually kill them. Yep. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do, though, is we're gonna take a quick break. Sounds good. Uh, and we're gonna come back next time on Operation Pixel and see if you can't clear the machine. Just killing some aliens here. Mm-hmm.